Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 fake foods you eat. So you probably eat food every day, but although your food might be labeled something like lobster, rice or sushi, well what you're actually eating probably isn't that. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have lobster. So, we all know lobster is seen as a luxurious food, which is eaten by some of the richest people or by regular Joes on special occasions. And I'm sure most of us are familiar with lobster restaurant chains, such as Red Lobster and Long John Silver's, who offer lobster for a discount price. Well, the reason those prices are discount is because it isn't lobster. The things those restaurants serve is actually langostino, which is a type of shrimp. And even though it might taste and look like lobster, it's not the same and there are differences in looks and flavor. Many supermarkets also sell langostino labeled as lobster. So next time you're in a store or restaurant, ask the staff, is the lobster real or is it langostino? And if they start to sweat, then they're probably serving you the fake stuff. But next up we have rice. So this is a really shocking news story which is going viral right now. So we all know that China is the world's largest distributor of rice. And there's factories in China that are making rice. But the bizarre and scary thing about these factories is what they're making the rice of. They use toxic plastic to create rice grains and then bag them up like regular rice. Then ship them out to markets in China and to companies who distribute them all over the world. And eating just two bowls of this rice is equal to consuming an entire plastic bag. Which is dangerous for your health and terrible for your digestive system and it could be potentially fatal. The rice has been found being sold in China, Nigeria, Mexico, the United Kingdom and the United States. But next up we have coffee. So a lot of you probably start your morning with a refreshing cup of coffee. And even though some companies will put labels like 100% pure coffee on their containers, a lot of these companies don't just sell coffee in these containers. But what exactly is in the coffee? Well, coffee is often cut. And cutting means to mix it with other things, to make the price of making it cheaper, because the company doesn't have to use as much of it. And the things companies cut coffee with are twigs, roasted corn, ground roasted barley, and even roasted ground animal skin. So next time you buy a cup of coffee, just know you're drinking this stuff too. And the only reason is so that companies don't have to use as much coffee in the production process, which can save them millions of dollars every year. But next up, we have fruit juices. So we all know that fruit juices can come in a lot of different flavors, and some of these can be quite exotic and others not so much. But one thing that all of these flavors have in common is that juice companies are being cheap while making them. So apples are the cheapest fruit because there's so many of them, and because of this, fruit juice companies will dilute their juices with apple juice. Which is why if you check the label on the back of almost any fruit juice, it will say that it contains apple juice. And companies sometimes make 60% of their fruit juices apple juice just to dilute them. And if you're thinking, well, well, at least apple juice isn't fake. Well, no, most apple juice isn't made entirely of apples. Even when it says made with 100% apples, most companies use apple concentrate from China, which has been found many times to contain banned pesticides and other chemicals. But next up, we have champagne. So like lobsters, champagne is a luxury food, which is enjoyed by people who are willing to spend a buck or two on this fancy drink. And most people have probably heard that it's illegal to call sparkling wines that aren't from the Champagne region of France champagne. But this is a myth and only applies in France. More than half of wine labeled champagne sold in the United States isn't real. And there are many producers from places like Long Island and California who market their sparkling white wines as champagne. When really, because it's not from the official location and therefore doesn't have the same soil, sun, or conditions, it's not really champagne. So you're paying a lot more just for a name. But next up we have tea. So I know I told you before that coffee manufacturers put weird things into their product to make it seem like there's more. And I bet when you were watching that, some of you were thinking, that's fine, I only drink tea anyway. Well, it turns out that tea manufacturers do the exact same thing as coffee manufacturers. But what they put in tea to cut it is even worse. A report to Congress in 2014 found that manufacturers added sawdust and leaves from other plants into their teas. But the reason for this isn't the same as the coffee manufacturers. Instead of not having to use more of the product, like with coffee, the reason that tea manufacturers do this is to make teas last longer. And this means that if they don't sell all of the tea they make, it doesn't matter because all of that trash mixed into it makes it last a lot longer. But next up we have spices. So certain dry spices are another food that's subject to being cut in the manufacturing process. And the ones that are cut and what they're cut with might surprise you. So nutmeg is often cut with pepper to make it way cheaper because there's so much of it. And turmeric has been found to sometimes contain corn. And oregano is often cut with weeds from the farms that are then dried up and crushed and then mixed in with a bit of the spice to make it seem like you're getting more for your money. When in reality, you're paying for things that you'd probably throw out. 
But next up, we have honey. So everyone knows that honey comes from bees. But despite companies saying that honey is natural and only contains honey made by bees, it's been found that a lot of honey is heavily diluted with illegal antibiotics. Because they're a lot cheaper and they taste sweet. Other things that are often found in honey is high fructose corn syrup, which is a nasty syrup sugar which is banned in a lot of states, and even cheap artificial sweeteners, which really doesn't help people who are on a diet or want to be healthy and eat honey because it can be bad for you and you won't even know about it because it doesn't say on the packaging. And some people use honey as a face mask, but if it's packed with sugary syrups, then this will have a very negative impact on your face. But next up, we have Parmesan cheese. So, like champagne, Parmesan cheese can only be called that if it's from Parma in Italy. But as you can probably guess by now, most companies sell Parmesan cheese that's not from Parma, so that they don't have to import it all the way from Italy, and it's a lot cheaper for them. And while it may be cheaper for them, it's not cheaper for you. In fact, the product markup on Parmesan cheese is higher than any other cheese at 100%. So, you're not only being sold lies, you're also paying a lot more just for a word that's been written on the label of your cheese. And these cheaper non Italian ones are often cut with wood pulp to make it look like there's a lot more cheese than there actually is. All I can say is make sure your Parmesan cheese is made in Italy or it's probably an imposter. But next up, we have sushi. So, this cold Japanese food is loved by many all around the world. And the most popular piece of sushi is the tuna roll. But in a test carried out in 2016, where thousands of sushi restaurants in America were tested, it was found that 100% of them served fake fish. The white tuna in tuna rolls is almost always a completely different animal. What you're really eating is probably something called escola, which is very cheap and is also known as lax fish. And that's because it can be used as a laxative and can give people diarrhea for days. Now, that is nasty. But that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest fake food. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.